Today we're going to make creamy white bean soup with kale and I'm going to use Rainbow Plant Life's recipe. So first of all this recipe was super duper delicious. It's a creamy white bean soup with kale and it's super creamy and you don't even miss like any dairy if um, you're vegan like me. It's definitely a fan favorite in my house, even for the non-meat eaters. And there's 16 grams of fiber and 19 grams of protein. So I started off by getting everything that I needed together, which was the olive oil, a chopped up one large sweet onion, three sticks of celery diced, three medium carrots diced, six garlic cloves chopped finely, um, crushed red pepper flakes, low sodium vegetable broth. We needed about three and a half cups of that. Salt, cracked pepper, and then a um, two bay leaves, one large sprig of sage, one large small sprig of rosemary tied tightly together. I didn't use that, I just used those those seasonings then one medium yukon gold potato two cans of canna lily beans i ended up using beans that my husband had left over from when he made ham and white beans so i just took a couple from him before he cooked them in the ham one can of artichoke hearts drained and then one small head of kale. I use frozen kale instead, and then olive oil. And then she also had a topping that I can't pronounce. <laughs> I think it's geramolata or gremolata. Gremolata, I think that's how you would say it. But I didn't use that, but I definitely would not skip off on topping it with a little bit of lemon juice if you don't have that. So the gremolata is one loosely packed cup of Italian flat leaf parsley, one and a half packed cups of fresh basil leaves, two large garlic cloves, left whole and peeled, two medium lemons, and some coarse or flaky sea salt. And again, I didn't have that, but I definitely topped it with some salt and some lemon, and that was like the perfect topping to it. So, first I'm going to start off by heating the oil in a large Dutch oven or soup pop over medium heat. Once hot, add the onion, celery, and carrots, along with a pinch or two of salt. Now, if you guys have been following along on my channel, you know that I am definitely on a low sodium diet, so I was very light on the salt. And you're gonna cook until the vegetables are softened and starting to just turn brown. And you can do that for about six to nine minutes. Once you're done with that, you're gonna add the garlic and red pepper flakes and cook another one to two minutes until very fragrant. And you'll know, you'll start to smell like garlic and it is going to smell so good in your house. Next, you're gonna pour in the vegetable broth and deglaze the pot stirring up any brown bits on the bottom of the pot. Add the one teaspoon kosher salt, black pepper to taste, the Italian seasonings, potatoes, canna lily beans, and the artichokes if you're using those, and you're gonna stir well. Stir well, stir well. <laughs> Sorry, I know you probably hear baby snoring. That's my baby girl snoring. Then you're gonna bring the soup to a boil. Then reduce the heat, cover the pot, and simmer the pot for 15 minutes or until the potatoes are tender. While the soup is simmering, then that's when you would make your gremolata, but I didn't do that. And so um, you would skip, to, you're gonna let that cook, and then you're gonna transfer half of the soup to a stand blender and blend until thick and smooth, or once it's thick and smooth, you'll return it to the, back to the pot 
or you can do the one pot option which i opted to do and which i would prefer i would say for anyone to do if you don't want to do a bunch of dishes so you'd remove the um bouquet if you made one or any of baileys or anything and then add an immersion blender throughout half the soup but be sure to not blend it all you want to retain some texture then you're gonna add the kale to the soup and simmer for three to five minutes or until the kale is tender, but still bright green. Taste for seasonings, adding more salt as needed. When the soup is done, remove your bouquet and then you're gonna serve the soup in bowls and sprinkle a generous amount of that topping. But again, I didn't have the topping, so I just added some olive oil and lemon juice and if storing leftovers add the sauce in a jar drizzle some olive oil in there and refrigerate spoon this over leftover soup um just some things to keep in mind you may need to use a bit more oil if you're not using a nonstick pan and then use three and a half cups of broth if you want the soup to be very Thick, use four cups of broth for a slightly thinner but still chunky texture and if you don't have kitchen twine you can do the following which is just add the herb springs into the pot and use tongs to remove them after cooking and that's what I did um, and then that's about it this was delicious my husband liked it and he is a meat eater and my children also liked it so if you're thinking about making this let me know i'll leave the link to her recipe in the comments all right so i'm cooking up some chicken soup for the kids all right so i am all done oh i got a baby on the loose hey all right the soup is all done i'm gonna taste it um let's see if you guys can see i did have to add some black pepper and some salt to the top of it i did a little bit of lemon to see if that would help it's not hot. okay let's see my other wants to try some okay pretty good from what i taste is that good give a little bit to the twin so let's see how we do Get a spoon. Uh oh. She spilled it. Tastes pretty good. You gotta blow it. You see it? It's piping hot. It could burn you. That's how hot it is. There you go. Don't. Now go over there and blow it. From first taste, delicious. Good. If you can't make the stuff that she puts on top, do add a little bit of lemon to it. It kind of lightens up the taste. I like it. You like it? My five-year-old likes it. Let's see what my eight-year-old says. Give it a 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Hey, good. All right, what do you rate it, Ladybug? What do you rate it? I could add a little bit more salt. I did go light on the salt. Um, because, you know, I, you guys know I have high blood pressure. So, I don't even know how much salt I added. But it was just like a, a dash. And it, I could use, use a little bit more. But it actually tastes really good. I don't think my 8-year-old likes it. Because she hasn't given me her report. She gives it a 9 out of 10. What does it need? Uh, that one and that's why it's a 9 out of 10. I did say salt, so. that a 9. Mm. Not a 10. I give it a 10 out of what? A 0. Alright, well my 11 month old baby likes it. He's He gave me his spoon to give him some more. Can you back up son? Mommy, you don't have an 11 year old. 11 month old. 
So, oh, stop. Like baby Let me know if you try it. Um, I'm going to enjoy this. I'm going to get my husband's reaction once he gets out the shower. But if you don't know, <laughs> I have to tell you that God loves you. And don't forget to do what I repent. Bye. Okay.